Hey everyone, um, first of all Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Hope you all had a really good time and are returning, well starting the new year with fresh enthusiasm. So this video is going to be about my recent A1C result. Um, I'll go into the history first and then um, let you know the result and well, it's not good. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, when I was on <clears throat> multiple daily injections, my A1C was stuck at 8.3% and it didn't matter how hard I tried, it just wasn't going anywhere. Um, I couldn't get it down under that. So, <clears throat> then the clinic obviously suggested that I go on the pump. So, after some deliberation, because I wasn't really sure about it, I did try the pump and got on really well with it. So after three months on the pump, my A1C was down to 7.1%. <clears throat> so obviously I was over the moon, that is the lowest it had been since I was young and my parents had been controlling my diabetes for me, so I was really tough with that. And then <clears throat> the following one, six months later I think was 7.4% and um, that was <clears throat> in July last year so it had gone up a little bit but um, my DSM wasn't concerned it, with my PCT they, their target is 7.5 and under from the point of view of long term limiting long term complications um, <clears throat> And their target for pregnancy is under 7.5 and as close to 7 as possible. Now that's the highest target range for A1Cs that I've heard in Britain. So I think I think my clinic are more realistic than other clinics, but um, I would really like to aim to have my A1C under 7 because obviously the lower the better for me. And also because in the next few years we want to be having children and I'm not really comfortable doing it with my A1C quite as high as 7.4. So <clears throat> the last few months I'd worked really hard and <clears throat> tried quite a few different things. Um, I got a lot of support from an online forum through the Diabetes UK website and got a lot of advice on there. Um, so I've avoided eating pasta. I tried to avoid eating pizza but I found that very difficult. Um, I've avoided the stuff that has a reputation for causing problems with spikes and I've been bolusing between 15 minutes and half an hour before I eat to limit the spike after food. And um, I thought I was doing quite good and I was actually hoping that my A1C would be under 7 for the first time in a long time. Um, so I'd really been hoping for that. My clinic appointment is at the end of January so I'd gone to my doctor to get my A1C taken before Christmas because I didn't want the high Christmas blood sugars to affect the A1C because um, I didn't think that would be a true representation of how good my control had been so I went just before Christmas and had my blood taken at my doctor's um, so I texted my DSA and asked her to let me know when she got the result <clears throat> so got the result on New Year's Eve and it was 7.5 and I am totally gutted I don't know why it's that high I'm very disappointed that since starting on the pump I did get my A1C down but now it's just creeping up and up and up and I'm disappointed because I'd hoped for it to be under 7 and I don't understand how my thinking could have been so wrong about that um, and also I'm disappointed because it means that I'm, I mean I'm not willing to try for children with my A1C at that level now, now is not the time for us, I've said this before but I want my A1C to be at pregnancy levels 
well, all, even almost print levels. I mean, 7.1, if I'd stuck at that, I'd have been really chuffed with that. Um, I want it to be at almost pregnancy levels um, for some time before we start trying. We're getting married next year, so I imagine my UNC is going to be a bit higher next year with the stress of planning it and the excitement and the nerves. And um, <clears throat> I'm not really sure what to do. I don't know whether to just muddle along and keep doing what I've been doing and keep it 7.5 or under until such times as we are ready to start thinking about a family or keep trying. Um, I'm getting emotional talking about it because I'm just so disappointed that it was so high and I don't understand why. I haven't done, if anything, I've tried harder and it's just got higher and I, I, don't, I don't know what to do to change it. So um, <clears throat> I'm not feeling too good at the moment really disappointed and upset and um, I don't know how to go forward. Um, I'm definitely not coming to the new year with enthusiasm for controlling my blood sugar. A result like that makes me not want to try and I know I will try but it's difficult and um, I'm really struggling now so I don't really know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> So that's my update, that's my disappointing A1C result and um, I'll update you guys again soon and let you know how I decided to move forward with it. Um, I just don't know right now. So any support suggestions would be helpful. If you have any questions that would help me figure out where I'm going wrong then that would be much appreciated. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys are all doing a bit better and um, <clears throat> I'll speak to you all shortly. Bye guys.